This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. A Texas man accused of attempting to sneak out of the country to join Al-Qaeda has been convicted of trying to help the terrorist organization. Barry Walter Bojol Jr. was convicted by a Houston federal judge on Monday of attempting to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization and aggravated identity theft. He faces up to 20 years in prison at sentencing. Bojol, who is a U.S. citizen, represented himself at his trial, which was was heard by a judge instead of a jury. Prosecutors say Bayal sought to join Al-Qaeda and to provide it with money, restricted U.S. military documents, and GPS equipment. But the 30-year-old said he never intended to help Al-Qaeda and wanted to leave the United States because he disagrees with its foreign policy. For the first time in its short history, the San Antonio Rock and Roll Marathon suffered a fatality. Event organizers confirmed late Sunday afternoon that 32-year-old Jorge Fernandez of San Antonio died shortly after completing the half marathon. Fernandez fell to the ground after crossing the finish line. Medical workers gave him immediate assistance and he was taken by ambulance to Christus Santa Rosa Hospital where he was pronounced dead just 35 minutes after completing the race. The death at Sunday's race has highlighted the risk associated with marathon running. There's a high-trending new social event in Texas. From WFAA.com in Dallas, food was flying at Fair Park on Saturday. It was a tomato battle. Hundreds of people let loose with tomatoes in a giant food fight that's one of several organized through an online campaign. Similar events have been hosted in Seattle and California. The same organizers hosted a huge mud fight on Sunday, billed as a dirty battle at Fair Park. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.